need a quarter of a teaspoon of this stuff. So again, treat it with great respect. You really, really don't want to get this anywhere. So we need a quarter of a teaspoon. And just add that to your household ammonia solution. Okay? So if you have to add it, because it's such a tiny amount, and you're adding it to quite a lot. So in that ammonia, what I did was I added 200 millilitres of water. So I added my 15 millilitres of ammonia to my measuring jug, then I added uh, 200 millilitres of water, and then I added my quarter of a teaspoon of sulfuric acid in there. Okay, what we're making there basically is ammonium sulphate. Then that's done. So the next thing that we need is adding to there is our sodium hydroxide. Okay, now the amount of sodium hydroxide we need is 7 grams. So I've put my jug to one side, give myself a little piece of paper, stick it on the weighing scale, Okay, so that's on my wine scale now, and now I need seven and a half grams of caustic soda on there. So seven and a half grams of caustic soda, oops, really isn't very much. And I'm just making a bit of a mess of that. What I'm going to use instead, a little cup. So a little cup, seven and a half grams. Okay, and that's what seven and a half grams of caustic soda looks like. So it's a very small amount, alright? So just chuck your seven and a half grams of caustic soda into your ammonium sulphate of your ammonium sulfuric acid mix that you just made, and that will just fizz away all by itself quite happily. Okay, so the next thing that you need is your phosphoric acid. Uh, on your phosphoric acid, what you need is 6 grams of it. Now the stuff I've got here is a 20% W by W solution, so 6 grams of that, 6 grams of that would actually be um, 6, 12, 24 millilitres. So I need 24 millilitres of my lime scale remover. So here is my spoon, with my 5 milliliter spoon, and we're going to add one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, and well, that's my phosphoric acid added. Let's just clean up here a bit. The minute you start getting these things into each other, so they're acid-base reactions. So they start neutralizing themselves and basically just making salts. So that really hideous ammonia smell that you first ha had when you opened up the household ammonia really should be back gone by now. It only lasts as long as the ammonia is actually open and in solution for you. Okay. <coughs> So here is my mix, my 200 milliliter mix, and just give it a stir. And as I say, this is actually ceasing to be dangerous, so it really is just a, a, a load of salts and ions in solution. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to need is our 250 milliliters of our rust remover. Now at the moment, what I've got in there is uh, just under 200. So I'll just top that up with distilled water to 200. There we go, it's now at 200. I need 250 millilitres of this, so that will be done when that reads 450 millilitres. Lovely green colour.
There you go. 250 millilitres of that. And then we need to finish that off now, up to a litre. Incidentally, it should be um, getting quite soapy because um, what you've made here is a phosphate soap. One litre. Okay, so one litre that. I don't know how successful you can see that. But there you go, there is our one litre and that is our uh, electroplating so brush solution. So I'm going to put that into a container, because here I'm looking for something to stir it with. We're going to put that into a container, label it up, put it to one side for when we want to come and um, start electroplating with it. Okay. So this solution, remember, will do just about any kind of electroplating that you're looking to do. So it will plate copper onto steel, copper onto aluminium, uh, brass onto aluminium, gold onto steel, gold onto zinc. So it's a, it's a universal plating solution. And um, it really cost, I imagine, be about two or three pounds, something like that. It's not very expensive at all. Okay. So there it is, the plating solution, all neatly bottled up in the old water bottle. Uh, it's kind of a green colour, as I say, it's, you can use that with any combination of brush or metal, within reason. Uh, and that's what we're going to do next, well, uh, in a few minutes. There are a few other chemicals, as, uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, that you're going to need. And there's a chap who does uh, quite a good video going through how to make the um, nickel activator, which is hydrochloric acid and um, the chrome stripper which is sodium hydroxide and the electro clean solution which again is uh, another sodium hydroxide solution so they're relatively simple to make have a look at his video but again um, the source of your sodium hydroxide is any to any B&Q or um, do it yourself store buy a bottle like that and you get all the sodium hydroxide you're going to need um, the hydrochloric acid is a little bit more difficult but um, spirits of salts it is what you're going to be able to buy here in the UK at 32% so I think he uses 75% um, so you're going to be about a half so you're going to have to double his quantities to, to be able to make that but it's a good video on those other things so by all means have a look at that um, and that's the solutions together and ready so the next thing that we're going to need is um, to make the actual brushes themselves and that's what we're going to do